Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Seeds of Faith. I am Reverend Siddiqui. The seed for today is Treasured Truths. Today we're going to learn two important things that God wants us to do. God wants us to speak truthfully and have kind hearts, according to Ephesians chapter 4, verses 25 to chapter 5, verse 2. God wants us to speak honestly. Ephesians 4, verse 25 says, so stop telling lies. Let us tell our neighbors the truth, for we are all parts of the same body. And why does being honest matter? Being honest helps everyone trust each other and makes our friendships stronger. God also wants us to speak words that build up. Ephesians 4 verse 29 says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up. Ephesians 4 verse 32 reminds us to be kind and considerate. It says, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Is being kind-hearted different from being kind? Absolutely. Being kind is an action. It involves doing good deeds and showing compassion towards others in a tangible way. Being kind-hearted is a disposition. It's a part of the person's character. It's who they are. It comes naturally. Being kind is also situational. A person might perform acts of kindness in response to a specific circumstance or need. But being kind-hearted is consistent. A kind-hearted person does kindness and it is not limited to a specific action, but it is continuous because it is who they are. Being kind is often external. It's an outward expression of goodwill towards others, whereas being kind-hearted is internal. It is an inside attitude. It is in the mind of the person, and that is their focus. They cannot help themselves but be kind because that's who they are. We are reminded in Ephesians 4.26, do not let anger stay. The text actually says, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. In other words, try to settle conflicts and issues before you go to bed. And people who don't let anger stay are people who forgive quickly. That's the next thing that God would like us to do. In Ephesians 5 verses 1 to 2 says, Walk in the way of love. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us. So here is the seed for this week. As followers of Jesus, we are challenged to speak honestly, speak words that build up, be kind-hearted, make kindness who we are and not just what we do, do not let anger stay, forgive quickly, and walk in the way of love. There you have it. This week, remember, the truth will set you free. And kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul. 
And that is a treasured truth. See you next week. Bye.